this is the next supreme piss. Piss. And then we have like we have like Victoria Silstead, Playmate of the Year, like voice over the commercial. It's like everything you ever wanted, piss. <laughs> Are we here? Yeah. Why do you guys look nervous? Oh, you know. You know. <laughs> You're making me nervous, man. I don't, I don't like this. We've never had a real Russian on the show before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. You still haven't. <laughs> yeah. I thought we were having Jesus on here tonight. Well, <laughs> very far from, as it yeah. turns out. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it's- <laughs> Thank uh, God. It I, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready yet. <laughs> I'm not either. Yeah, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> it's a subreddit of D- Jesus, right? Because it's- yeah. A.K. Jesus. A.K. Jesus. A yeah. subreddit of Jesus. <laughs> God, I hate the 21st century so much. <laughs> oh, that's a subreddit of Jesus. Oh, okay. Uh, One of his I think al- we call dimensions. it a denomination. Yeah. 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 No, a subreddit. Yeah. It's a subreddit of Christianity. Oh. He turns water into A.K. rounds. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> this isn't useful at all. <laughs> we're, well, we're thirsty, Jesus. Help us. <laughs> It's my only trick. With the uh, AK ammunition, you can have neighbor's water. <laughs> oh, oh, that works, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Ah. So what is it you boys do here? What is it you say you do here? Mm, it's everything, anything, everything. We just, okay. whatever is going on, whatever comes into our minds uh, at the time. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing planned at all. Ever. Good. <laughs> so Good. Okay. I this can is get how we do that. it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I was told it was time for pie, and yeah, I see yeah. a distinct lack of pie. Oh, no. Oh, the, oh, no, no, the fridge pie. is full of it. Yeah. yeah. Are you fucking kidding? No. no. <laughs> do you want a pie? What kind of pie would you like? We've got all kinds of flavors. I can't of tell if you're pies. with me because I was just looking in the fridge no, yeah. and I didn't see any In pie. the drawer, there's a lot of pies. I, wow. Okay. I'll yeah. Be, we've I, got a lot of JJs if you like that. I was fucking with you, but okay, maybe. Okay. Well, what flavors do we have? I'm kind of a fat so, you know, hey. You want blackberry? I'm, what what would you guys recommend? There's peach, there's blueberry. lemon, blackberry. I think there's a blackberry blueberry. or blueberry. I'm there's not sure. There's apple. some sort of berry. I was literally just looking it's around. All, they're all there. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Oh, you're not. Yeah, you're now not you're kidding. getting proved. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, God damn. Now we've got to show you. Look at all he these He called pies the have. bluff. Oh, oh, damn. Look at this. Stack of pies. The stack of pies. Yeah, whichever yeah. is your favorite. Are those the, like the, the fucking, for lack of a better word, uh, hot pocket pies? Basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the ones you grew up with. Blackberry, yeah. apple, peach, lemon, and lemon. another lemon that's slightly different. It's two lemons. Damn, I'll fuck up some apple pie. Apple pie? Oh, okay. apple. Jared, what are you having? Thank oh, you blackberry. So much. Blackberry? Okay. Peach. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's exactly and what I'm going to do. That's exactly what I was thinking uh, of. Peach. Peach, perfect. Oh, yeah. And the Damn. baby's got lemon. lemon. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are actually having pie. Dude, everybody asks. Yeah. Like, why like, is there no pie? When are you going to have a hot? The pie's like, always there. We had there. our first live it's always there. event in Dayton, Ohio mm-hmm. this weekend, mm-hmm. and there was probably 30 pies that were brought. It was a lot. Yeah, there was a lot of pie were, there. Were any of them homemade or all like grocery store pies? Two of them were homemade. Two of them were homemade. Yeah. One was fed to Caleb in a spork. Yeah. By One who? was fed to Caleb L-A-D. with a spoop. Yeah. Oh, I saw that. What, what the hell was that all about? <laughs> I saw that on your fucking Instagram. <laughs> We were like your glove with fucking <laughs> sporks all over it, you fucking raving lunatic. <laughs> it's a, it's a, oh, what? What is this? There it is. This is like fucking fat kid Freddy Krueger. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> it's, it's way worse. Mr. Herrera. It's way worse. This is an invention Caleb and I have come up with. I don't want to be here, man. <laughs> and this, <laughs> this. <laughs> Oh, shit. This right here is the future. This is going to replace toilet paper. Ted Kaczynski was right. <laughs> 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 and look how easy it is to clean. You yeah. just wiggle it. You just dip it in the toilet. <laughs> you, you, fling, you fling whatever's left like on it nice into fling. the toilet, and you hold it in the, the water and, as you flush. You know what? Anybody who's ever used a fly-in J... A bathroom before me has used one of these. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I could There's a community you. spoops now. Yeah. Uh, we're trying to get these everywhere. We're trying to get a patent. This is a really nicely done one. Peter made this, this one. Really it's really great. Really yeah, it's here. a good box. Yeah, this is what we have velvet. to do. We yeah. got to make We got to yeah. make 100 of these. Yeah, as, we do. As far as prototypes go, it's actually pretty decent. That's actually yeah. really there, great. There you yeah. go. Spoop. All of the spoons were at least erect. Yeah. You know? When yeah, they weren't bent or anything. 
sometimes they will bend when you really got to dig in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when the when, yeah, when you've had a lot of yeah. like like processed foods, mm-hmm. kind of like the chicken. Yeah, a lot of meat. And it's hard mm-hmm. for the you know, yeah. JJ's Bakery pies. Yeah, man. That, imagine we got that sponsorship. We should ask them. We should. Like, I, who are they sponsoring right now? Probably nobody. Mm-hmm. And how many pies do they sell? Maybe a NASCAR driver. Probably. They sell a lot of pies. They're <laughs> up there, dude. Well, we need to we need to up those numbers. Well, good. Yeah, that's what we're here for. I there's mean, a, there's nothing like having a nice pie snack after demonstrating a spoop. There's really not. I can't wait for us to make the commercial. I'm very I, excited, dude. You're gonna have to put it on fucking Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a YouTube or Facebook advertiser friendly I think advertisement. It could be. It might not be too bad. I mean, really, it's just when you flick that hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the gross part. <laughs> it's a uh, visceral. Yeah, you got to get the hose, the hose, the hose attachment. Wolf chili. The hose isn't oh, even yeah. for spraying your ass off. It's for cleaning the walls. <laughs> <laughs> Once you, it's. I was thinking like a, like a Spider-Man wrist attachment, like a bidet. No, yeah. <laughs> spray it, all the shit off the walls when you're done. <laughs> oh, dude. Remember that part where I agreed to come here? I, was like, I thought that would be a really good move for me politically. <laughs> that was great. Well, this is great, dude. This is perfect for your campaign. <laughs> it's just a really you can good move. You can endorse... Spoop. <laughs> Texas. Spoop. You spoop. I'll single-handedly be yeah. the reason why Capitol Police and all, like, members of the Hill have to be, uh, all, all staff on the Hill have to use the spoop in bathrooms. Yeah. And oh, waste, we don't have enough water in how Texas. Many, how many forests are we going to save? Dude, countless. It's incalculable. It's mm-hmm. uh, it's less water, less paper. Yep. Dude. <laughs> bidets, you're just blasting a gallon of water into your ass. Yeah, no. Toilet paper, you're going through a quarter of a tree each yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 quarter tree. <laughs> quarter tree. How much toilet shit. paper are you using? It's a quarter and a half quarter. of wood. It's a quarter and it's a half like of wood. Three logs worth of wood each <laughs> shit. <laughs> so if we campaign this, dude, you know, Texas, yeah. Texas doesn't have a lot of good wood. It's mostly cedars. And then they're well, always in a drought. Let's just add this to to the end of one of your campaign commercials <laughs> where it just says. I'm Brandon Herrera, and I save trees, but no one knows why. Yeah. And then you refer them. If any of your opponents say, "What is this I save trees thing?" You're like, "I use a spoop," and that's it. And My favorite is how the the thunder hit right yeah, when I yeah. said that. That was on. Timing. God thought that was a terrible idea. Yeah. No, that was a, he was a thumbs up. That was a that thumbs up. It was a double was a good thumbs thunder. Up. Oh yeah. That, God's good thunder. Isn't that good yeah. thunder? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll add that to the plan. We'll see. We'll Perfect. see where that ends up. Yeah. See and yeah. Uh, pass it along. Yeah. Uh, are, I'll pass that to my staff. Yeah. Are independent citizens allowed to make their own campaign commercials as contributions? I believe so. I'll have to ask my FEC attorney about that, but I think that's true. Yeah. No. I, I, yeah, I mean, if we're can. just independent, right? Yeah. Jesus we're just having Christ. fun. We're just promoting. We're just. Speaking yeah, truth. Like no one paid us to do this. No. We're just doing it for fun. We're, do, we're speaking truth. Yeah. The funny part is, I don't think any attorney could actually argue that whatever the hell you guys come up with, I would have in my right mind ever paid for. Yeah. That is true. Man. Yeah. We could do, we could put some cartoons in there too. Yeah, yeah we of could. Him just saving orphans. Yeah. 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 Just <laughs> left and right. And, and, and we, you and I can sing a, a, a Brandon Herrera theme song. Oh, Brandon oh, Herrera. Orphans are burning man. to death on his watch. Yeah, just, <laughs> we can come up with a bunch of stuff, dude. Brandon oh, Herrera, the border fence is 90 feet high. Yeah. <laughs> my, my luck, like, in, in my luck in, in that district, like, during that amount of time, uh, there'd be, like, the worst orphan fire in history. Ooh. And people would just go back, and they're like... Mm. Well, but but then if you went there and did save a couple orphans, at yeah, least, you, there's no way you're not going to yeah, win. Now it's take like, a flight overnight yeah, and just, just like running as fast through the building. As you can, yeah. yeah. Well, why don't we why don't we do a photo shoot for another campaign poster? You can be holding Lux and just sprint, and Lux will hate that because she hates anything yeah. fast paced. So, so we found out. So we found out. She'll scream. Mm-hmm. Naturally, and yeah. then we'll put a burning building behind in the background, you. Background orphanage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When we, when me and Cody were on the golf cart the other day, she does not like going even remotely close to over four miles an hour. Oh yeah, no. she yeah, she's, she's it. 
as 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 it's been said, she does not like a thrill. A thrill, yeah. yeah. Which oh, it happens all the time. You mm-hmm. know, people are like, like we'll pick her up and spin her. We and spin the baby. Meanwhile, like, we, oh, we oh, felt oh. about yay tall while yeah. she's just like screaming and crying, running away. We're like, ooh, fuck, mm, we're the bad uncle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but she forgets. But then she'll verbally abuse you like yeah. the rest of the evening. So like, I feel like she gets even. Yeah, yeah. I, I hit her in the face with a frisbee, and uh, it like sliced her eyelid. It was bad. Uh, we thought she's gonna have to get stitches there for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but we were all wondering why you were like throwing a frisbee made out of like pure fucking copper. Like, <laughs> well, that's not real. But, <laughs> but he's yeah, just we, tossing saw blades at yeah, children. Yeah, and uh, but yeah, it happened. It hit her in her little child eyelid, so it like sliced it. <laughs> Uh, and then she shamed me for weeks about it. She's like, why did you do, like, she does it as a joke. Like, she's trying not to laugh. She's like, why did you hurt this little baby? Why did you cut my eye? And yeah, I'm just like, oh, my God. Line yeah. And, oh, and, God. and then now she As shames me. buying more saw blades. Yeah. yeah. And now she shames me for not doing it. She's like, can we play frisbee? I'm like, no. I'm like, I remember what happened last time. You told me to throw it to you for real. And when I did, you exploded. And now she shames me for not doing it. I think she expected you to overhand toss a fucking frisbee (laughs) at her head. Well, I literally, I did it so gently, but like she's just, it's a big frisbee. Like I made it, we got a big one, so it's easy to catch. But I I need to see this frisbee. The sheer weight of it. The sh- I'm, th- I'm picturing this fucking Captain America sled. shield. Oh, it's, a, <laughs> it's a shield. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it just split her eyelid right open. That poor baby. Yeah. Uh, sad day today for me. Mm. So as some may know, if you've ever been on uh, my YouTube channel, which is, you know, hit or miss, I have a video on there that's uh, called Uncle Evan's Cuddle Shack for Sad Fat Boys. <laughs> which showed me this the other day, which is about, uh, about a, a few years ago, uh, someone was out here with a, with a tree grinder and they tried to, to, to grind some of the wood pile and it threw a two by four through the shed and punctured my jet ski. Oh. So Mr. Mark Gomez, seven time world we- world champion freestyle jet skier has had my jet ski for like two years fixing it, like in, getting, getting the whole patch. But then he was like, ooh, there's some things we could do to this engine. I'm like, oh yeah, I like that engine work idea. So then he finally gets done with it and gives it back to me in Oklahoma a couple months ago when we went up there for the races. And so yesterday I went out to get like final supplies. And then today we go out to Canyon Lake to like give it a real test run. Well, first when we get to Canyon Lake, the state park's closed because of how low the lake is and the boat ramp's closed. So they got it all boarded off. Can't Meanwhile, there. as we're recording this during a hurricane. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I get on Google, like or I get on the satellite imagery and I'm like looking around because I've got a beach cart. So I've got big wheels. We can get it in anywhere that there's a beach. I find another boat, a boat ramp that says it's open. We get there. It says it's closed, but then the sign says it's closed to offloading boats with a vehicle, but if you hand put in boats, that's fine. So I was like, cool. Thank God. Like, and this has been after like an hour of like driving around the lake, trying to figure this out. And it's like, okay, we can, we can do it. We can do it. So we put the ski on the beach cart and we're at, we're at a like pretty steep grade. And as soon as I like let it go and turn around the hook that, that attaches to it to keep it there it was just like lightly tied and it just comes off and the jet ski smashes to the ground. And I'm like, yeah, oh, no. And I look and like, yeah, there's a little hole there. So we get it in the water. We're like we, 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 we get it in the water and I have the, the top opened up and I'm watching cause there's two bilge pumps in there so I can keep water out. And I'm like, okay, it's not taking on any water. We're good. So I started up and hit the gas and it doesn't go anywhere and it just whines and it, yeah. and the impeller had, had frozen from the fall. So it was like, all that work, years for that. It's been two and, years worth. And by the way, it, it was like 150 yards on a like 25% grade wheeling this thing down. Mm. Like it was not, not easy. easy. Yeah. <laughs> and that happens. That's sad. It sounds like it's raining a lot outside. Yeah, right we now. need it. It does. I'm going to peak. Canyon, Canyon Lake needed it. You're yeah, going everywhere to peak? needed it. The good stuff? Got that good stuff coming now. Good stuff. Hell oh, yeah, because yeah. I still have my windows rolled down. So this is awesome. 
your windows are really rolled down. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was like, oh, whoa. I, constantly, I, I like constantly do that. Like I always roll my windows down because it's Texas and like mm-hmm. just the heat fucking like, well, it's like 130 degrees in your car when you get in there. So yeah. I always keep my windows down. But like today was, today the God looked angry. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to take a nap on my porch and I started getting Wind. rained on. Oh. Yeah. Well, it was, it's like we've gone 50 days of straight zone, no rain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we're filming tomorrow morning with Throttle, the guys at the Throttle YouTube, which I'm a huge fan of and I'm excited for. We're announcing a veteran that we're going to completely revamp his truck. Uh-huh. So that's going to be really fun. Cool. So I had our buddy from TKO Auto Spa come out to, to, to polish up the police car and the, oh, no. and the Subaru, and now it's dumping rain. <laughs> Hell yeah. That was like that's yesterday. Uh, well, not yesterday. It was a couple days ago. I uh, decided for the first time in like a year, uh, I had that, uh, the Ford Raptor that I bought from Matt that I've just been, you know, taking everywhere. That's, that's been like a work truck, a range truck. We yeah. throw fucking machine guns in the back and do whatever. Like, that's just my go, go, go truck. And it's still covered in, you know, dust and dirt and you know, mud from the ranch and everything yeah. like that. So I, I decide, you know what? I remember when this thing looks, it used to look pretty. I'm going to take it to the, the car wash. So I went in, did like a $20 you know, car wash, went through it. It was looking nice and good. And like, you know what? I, that, that old girl deserves it. Why not? <laughs> the next morning I get in a fender bender. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Like, ah. Uh, and now my door doesn't open right. Oh. oh. Like a real fender bender. It, it was like, like it was a, like a, a little love bump. tap. It yeah. wasn't too bad. It was like, like someone hit you or? No, it was like, a, like it was her fault a little bit, but it was my, it was like technically my fault. Like I'll take full, full blame. Like it was, I was looking the other way to look at oncoming traffic. She like started to go Mm. and I thought she had went, went. And so I went to go look at traffic. Wasn't looking until it was too late. And I, I hit her. So it's, it's, it's my Herrera hits women on the freeway. (laughs) (laughs) You could have stopped. It just hits (laughs) Whitno. But no, it's just, it was like the one day I take care yeah. of my truck. It's like the next morning. Like, you know what? This is why we can't have nice things. It happens. No. Yeah. And and things are like heating up and burning. It's like, we've like doubled in population now. Things are getting kind of. And, now you have and, to pay and, and then they're, wi- they're widening 46. Yeah. Like, well, just everyone keeps dying on it. On 46? Yeah. It was just like, there's literally like a death like every other day on that. Really? Yeah, I dude. I don't see that. Can you tell me that? Dude. Of course, obviously, Katie tells me every time it happens, like, oh, another death on 46, another death on 46. Like, every major accident that happens in this, like, fucking county is on that fucking road. I don't know if widening it is going to make it safer. Yeah, they're like, well, maybe if it's wider, you can get the fuck away. <laughs> you can, <laughs> no, if you it's can, wider, we could go faster. If it's wider, we can put more lanes. I mean, people already go pretty fucking fast. Yeah, I know. Road. Yeah. Pretty wild. Yeah, that's which uh, I'm I'm on board with. That's you know, that's that's the spirit of Texas. That's dangerous freedom. I like that. Yeah, just drive as fast as you can. Just make like a Texas Autobahn or well, Autobahn, I mean, whatever it is. You I, know yeah, what I'm yeah, about? Autobahn yeah, in yeah, Germany. Yeah. I, yeah. I want to see you know that. whose idea that was. No? I no, I don't. Oh, never mind. That's pretty politically incorrect. He had a good mustache though. Oh, okay. And by good he means horrible. Oh. He had the Walt Disney going on. It was kind of a, a oh, micro scary. one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, he was great. He was a really scary speaker, too. I would love to know the data, though. Like, how many fatalities are caused on a freeway by speeding? I mean, that's something that we should know, right? I think it's probably yeah. all of them, right? No. Oh, not, I not would highly speeding. doubt it. Oh, no, yeah. you don't think so? Like, a, No. You know, I would say that's probably— I would say a majority is tractor trailers, like big trucks. I was going to say a minority of fatalities are probably speeding. I know. Hmm. I, I think it is. Hmm. What's so? What do you think are more other uh, other trucks? Big, just big trucks sucking? Not well, not necessarily. It's a people good portion's got to be reckless driving. Yeah. No. How? Like it's not like everybody's like every time you hit the freeway, someone's like meow 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 meow. Like it's very few and far between. Well, like, well, no, I mean, you obviously yeah, don't right. live in San Antonio. Another statistic. Yeah, another like, statistic people don't realize is you know seventy eight percent of accidents are caused by sober drivers, hmm. which is why I don't trust them. That makes sense. So. Yeah. We need more drunk drivers in Texas. Statistically speaking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're actually safe. No, yeah. This is terrible advice. Yeah, Don't everyone should, you should take a shot before you drive anywhere. Just as a safety. Calm your nerves. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I get it. You ever see grandpa try to drive to the 7-Eleven and he's all shaking on the steering wheel? No. Yeah. No, Gotta no, calm him not, down. 
It's not conducive for a safe driving experience. That's smart. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna vote for you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like this is this is terrible advice. Don't. This is a comedy podcast. <laughs> yeah, this Don't. is just jokes. Okay. Thirty percent of of um fa- vehicle fatalities are caused by speeding. Yeah, I was saying it's like yeah. you got to be going pretty fast to die, like. Most of the time. Yeah, but you could... Uh, yeah. You I mean, unless you're just getting crushed by I something. saw that yeah. one. Remember that one I showed you the other day, that video where oh, the yeah. truck tried yeah. to get over and, that, and yeah. he just smashed into like that a truck carrying smashed steel. Smashed into another yeah, one. Yeah, that guy yeah. was yeah. not Oh, alive. where the truck just evaporated yeah, under yeah. that. Yeah. 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 That one was no good. Yeah. I like how, how well-versed on the internet we all are. Yeah. Well, we all <laughs> see the same snuff films on Twitter come across oh, yeah. and wherever else. <laughs> yeah. So, are, are you a member of r slash meat crayon? Is that on Twitter? That's, That's on Reddit. Uh, Reddit. Ah, so it's meat crayon. It's uh, all like motorcycle accidents and stuff like that. Think mm. of meat crayon. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yucky. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's not it's, fun. I mm. I am a notoriously unsafe biker. It's probably what's going to kill me. Like mm. just because Texas is fucking hot. So like I'm I'm the kind of guy that will go to lunch with no helmet and flip flops. Well, you, when you have this hair, you have to have the wind. Yep. You have to have the wind you need in this hair. monkey bars or the big oh, they, ape like bars. ape hangers. Yeah, or yeah. Ape hangers. yeah. Wait, wait, so you'd think that, but the yeah. problem with that is uh, it actually almost instantly knots up. Oh, it just gets tangled. Shit. Yeah, that's how I know I need to hmm. cut my hair is even when I put a helmet on, it still gets knotted under the oh, helmet, shit. like out the back. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's it's like you can't run a comb through it for three days. Mm. Is there any other congressional person that has any sort of competing hair? Mm, I don't think so. You think they? I would mean, say Matt Gates has some pretty good hair. That was that like, was the joke. Like, that was the joke I made with him when we did the ATF thing. And this was like long before we ever announced. Uh, was uh, he, he said that? Uh, well, you know, as long as I have the best hair in Congress, then we're good to go. And I said, yeah, you know what, you do. I looked directly at the camera. For now, <laughs> <laughs> this is like two months prior. Do you think they would would say anything or like look at it negatively if you were to get cornrows? <laughs> so when I did my boxing match, they wanted me to get cornrows. They everybody, my trainer, fucking everybody was Eli was trying to get me to do cornrows. And I'm like, dude, once you do cornrows, you can't fucking come back to cornrows, man. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. are cornrows. I've done it. Yeah. I did it at Shot Show a few years ago. <laughs> I have not seen this. You have not? Oh, Show sorry. me the fucking cornrows. Well, this is a very crazy story because this was like Evan, Evan thought that we were having this giant meeting with his investor that turned out to be a total fraud. <laughs> But anyway, he was, before we knew that he was a total fraud, he was back at the house and I came running back after I had got this hairdo done, like so excited. And Evan's sitting there thinking he's talking to like this big wig that's like, oh, this is gonna, this is like 2017 at at SHOT Show. And I come blowing through the door looking like this and he about was gonna kill me. Like he, he wanted me dead. Is the- just said stop. So now we're at the part of the show where we find out exactly how much you actually care about us. We talk about some of our sponsors, and we're going to know if you skip it. You know what's awesome, Caleb? What? Hot salt. Everything's better with hot salt. Truly. Truly mm. everything. Firecracker Farms has a wide assortment of amazing things that will make your food just a little spicier to include this little vial of some red stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it comes with a warning label. Yeah, it's a little scary. I've not tried that one yet. We are told it will make up to, you know, a whole stew or soup spicy. Spicy? But do not touch anything after you use it. Especially genitals. Ever. Don't touch those. Your eyes. Ever. You will go blind. Nowhere. Mm-hmm. If you are trying to spice up your food, go to firecracker.farms forward slash pie. Save a little bit of money on your salt. Oh, a little bit? 20%, 20% off. 20% off on your hot salt. And this thing is is practically indestructible. Yeah, that's it's amazing. Uh, if you were salting your food and a burglar walked in, you could just grab that and... Jam it in their eye, use it to punch them in the head. You'll punch clean through their head. It's yeah. it's self defense. It's rated. And then you can put some hot salt on them. That is firecracker dot farms forward slash pie. Mr. Caleb Francis will tell you what is absolutely delicious and yummy to the bits. And that is kill cliff. Kill cliff. Especially the C B D. 
They are very yummy. Mm, orange Kush. That's my jam. Yeah, I like the orange a lot as well. I, I just love a, a good citrus drink, and mm-hmm. uh, it really does it for me. And they're lime flavored. Yeah, it's, it's really. It's got really the good. the real fruit juices in it. Uh, and Kilcliffe has not only regular drinks but also the CBD drinks. Mm-hmm. You know, so you choose your poison, and uh, this stuff ships right to your door. Yeah, you just mellow out. Or you need a little more energy. It's right there for you in a tasty little carbonated sip. And it's good for you. Yeah. That, All the vitamins. That is it. So just roll on over to killcliff.com. Get yourself some Killcliff. <laughs> uh, uh, fucking snap fighting. it on the ground. Or, uh, <laughs> he wanted to kill me. That'd be funny if you did have snap it's over there. Anytime we're fucking, <laughs> oh anytime fucking, we're fucking up, you throw a snap it at the floor in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? That's pretty good. Okay. You, you, don't, you don't actually look bad. With uh, yeah, and- that's... Uh, Seems right. You know, I feel like, and there was extensions in there too. I wish I had more because I had, I had uh, some feathers. A, another front photo, feathers and then I had the day I took it out because I was just all wavy. It looked pretty cool. Damn. It. But he was so mad at me, and I thought he was going to laugh like hell. Like we've been, Evan we've, was pissed. Yeah, because we've talked about this joke for so long, yeah. like how funny it would be. So I'm like, I'm in because like, you know, y- you've got to find like some so, specialist for this. He thought you were the investor. No, no, or, no. Okay. Oh, okay. He was with the investor that turned out to be a, a oh, fake that got arrested by the FBI. And all oh, oh dear. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I thought you set up this whole fucking meeting and you just walk in like no, you're no, no, the, no. Yeah, okay. He was with the guy like explaining, you know, how professional we are and how great the business is. And blah, blah, blah. Hold on. He was I, pitching Black Rifle as professional? How professional you guys are? Uh, you know, he probably it was the was, early days. Yeah. We were uh, trying to like, you know. And so we... I blow through the door with my new hairdo, and he was like, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Mm. Well, luckily, you saved Evan from all that. Yes. Yes. So well, realistically, you're the hero of the story. I don't know if he's ever, uh, I don't know if he's ever apologized for or took it back. I think he owes me a take back. Yeah. Like now that we know that that guy was a total fraud and got yeah. in trouble with the FBI and like, <clears throat> jail or whatever, wherever he may be, he owes me a take back. You should probably bring it up. How do you think I should bring this up? Do you think this is a greeting card situation? Yeah, uh, maybe maybe make one. It's a picture more of, like of a you. telegram. Yeah, like how a do you singing telegram. Demand a take back. I would start with the photo of you and cornrows. Yeah. Okay. Like, do you remember the time? So, so this should be more of a scroll situation. Oh, a scroll oh, yeah, would be yeah, great. Yeah. So if I and then I hire someone yeah. to go. Read him the scroll. Yeah, in like the old old timey type English. Yeah, this, this is the this is the part the audience doesn't get. This is how rich people fuck with each other because <laughs> there is zero percent of this that is a joke. <laughs> you yes, are one hundred percent going to do I'm this. Going to I'm going to send someone to read him the scroll or and demand. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's really good. Maybe or, there might be a better a better option here. Like, okay, I'm making a demand. Yeah. All right, I'm drawing a line in the sand that mm-hmm. says, okay. On this side over here, here are all the times that you've that, that you've shamed me. Yeah. And I demand one be taken back. I should maybe use <coughs> like a, a, a big fella. Or <laughs> uh, a plane with the really long banner. It's like it's what, like everything, planes. yeah, everything <laughs> you like, want wrote on it. Yeah. <laughs> And you you doing just, laps it, around yeah, BRCC yeah, headquarters in Utah, and just make him go outside and look at up in the sky and <laughs> just read this. It's, it's like, like, but it's, it's like, like eight planes, seven <laughs> planes. Yeah. It's like two paragraphs, <laughs> like, and that's why you should take it back. Yeah. Oh, and Dude. they should all be flying in formation, so it's like a proper it's paragraph. Yeah. <laughs> or wow. a guy arrives on a horse in a suit of armor, and there's another guy on a horse with a trumpet. Yeah, that's that'd and be really play cool. Play the too. trumpet outside and demand Evan's presence. Yeah. Like, let's be real. This is like, realistically, this is like a three thousand dollar joke. Yeah, easy. That's, that's doable. Yeah. yeah. For, oh, I mean, if, if I'm hiring somebody to just go read him the scroll, I can, oh, I can, like, I can hire yeah. a stripper. Yeah. That'd yeah, be fun. But with yeah. a horse in a suit of armor. A stripper, a stripper in a suit of really armor. Good. Yeah. Just the tits are out. Just a stripper with that armor. Is logistically difficult in Salt Lake. Yeah. However. True, true, true. It'd be fun. Yeah. You can import them. Well, maybe it's more of a cosplay, yeah. a cosplay girl, like an e-girl. 
I could already find has a, the armor. Yeah, that there's plenty has of those in Salt Lake. Yeah, yeah. And I can, they travel. Yeah, yeah, they do travel. Like yeah. I need you to go make these demands, and yeah. they like make a lot of crafts too. I've seen it on Instagram. They can make the scroll. Yeah, they can make the scroll. Yeah. Come to think of it, yeah, there's zero reason for this to actually be a stripper. Yeah, yeah, we, we could just be a, a, a normal cosplayer. <laughs> That has her own armor that can make the scroll. Mm -hmm. Like, isn't there this girl called like something panda that makes all this cool shit on Facebook all the time? Maybe. There's I a lot. So. Most of the cosplayers are like pretty talented these days, man. We're, they make some cool shit. We're under 30, so we're not on Facebook, so I don't really know. Yeah. I mean, I'm on there, but it sucks. It's real bad. Really? Dude, I have a lot of fun my, on Facebook. I, yeah, I know I, you do. I see I like <clears throat> I, I see Facebook the same way I see iFunny. Which is through screenshots. Yeah. And half the screenshots I get sent on Facebook are of you. <laughs> <laughs> you just fucking with people on good? Facebook comments. Yeah. Yes, they're hilarious. I do laugh at them. Mine has like, become, oh, Jared's going fucking ape shit on Facebook again. <laughs> yeah. Mine has become so overrun with bots that like I that I can't do anything about it. That's it's interesting. it's foreign accounts that like have like they'll have 10, 15,000 followers and they're just like anything I post they're like whoa awesome bro follow me too uh, promote me I, I love your stuff I'll promote you here in Uganda if you promote me here in USA bro like, you're, you're sleeping on that Ugandan dude following. it's insane it's it's like thousands dude like at first I was like what? block 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 but then it was like so much I had to start blocking keywords because they would be like count yeah. me in like all of them would just say count me in and I think I mentioned this on another podcast well, but it's crazy. Like words like win, like $1,000. Yeah, like, like I had that. to just yeah. put so many words in there. I've had a lot of really, really good ideas over the years. Okay. And one of them that we never did that I would like to do, especially right now, with Hollywood being on strike, I think that maybe we, maybe we reach out to a couple other kind of good name celebrities, a couple that come to mind, Steve Howie, great, great fit. And then maybe Cowboy Cerrone, you know, big name, very athletic. And then we pack all of us together and we, you know, a couple of us ambassadors will fly first to Bollywood in India. And then we will tell them that we all want to start star in a Bollywood action film. And uh, we all come as a package. Well, I've got a connection uh, in Bollywood. What? Uh, I have a, a guy who used to follow me on everything. He's probably still in there somewhere. His name was Mahakshi Chakraborty. And, Can you uh, say that again? Mahakshi Chakraborty. He knows how to no, say this No, that was name. different the second time. No, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah it was. Uh, that was rehearsed either way. You yeah. definitely, you know how to say this guy's name. Yeah. Yes. Uh, he, his dad was is ultra famous movie star in Bollywood. <clears throat> and he's like been trying to follow in his footsteps like for years. And he's been in all these movies. But I don't think like they've all. Like, what if he brought us though? He could. That's what I'm because saying. Like he did. He used to comment on all my stuff. I don't know whatever happened to him. Uh, but like, yeah, as my videos were first taken off, dude, he was like on air. He's like, yo, lo love it, dude. This is awesome. It's so cool seeing you grow. Like he was just like a normal bro, but he was like a Bollywood actor. And he had like some like love movie that came out. And he's like, bro, he's like, I'd love it if you would watch this movie and let me know what you think. And I was like, I can't even get it, dude. <laughs> it's like yeah. it's it's India or, or it, wherever. DMCA yeah. says that's not available in my country. <laughs> yeah. So. But uh, yeah, dude, it was dude, it was crazy. He was on Hollywood everything. Movie, like where we, we we could be six ninjas. <laughs> Yeah. What? I don't think I don't think they've cracked that code. But you, have, you, did you have you have you ever watched many Bollywood yes. action movies? They're insane, dude. They like, they like dude. kick a it's, horse and the horse and it goes yeah. into the spoke. air. It's insane. It's, it's like so live good. action anime. Yeah, it's so good yeah. though. Like I, there was one on Netflix for the longest time that had like crazy ratings. And I started watching it. It's like four hours long, man. Oh like I I like would watch so much. I'm like, how much further is this? And I would look and be like, it's like three hours left. I was like, what? But dude, it was like the story was insane. Insane, and then like you're following these two guys for like hours, and then they just like they die, and then the whole movie takes a whole different turn for two more hours. I was like, "What the fuck, <laughs> dude?" It, it was crazy. Like, I don't I remember the name of it, like, but it's two on there. People were like hanging onto a cliff, and he like grabs the girl and throws her up, and then he jumps up and then jumps off her face, and then roundhouse kicks the guy. God. Like it's so good. Dude, <laughs> Corridor Digital does a bunch of those, like the VFX artist reacts videos and stuff, where uh, they do like the whole like the, reacts to Bollywood, you know, like, VFX. Yeah. It's some of the shit they do is fucking insane. It's cool. What was I, I remember one went around so long uh, or so much that was like these armies fighting and they tied like some <clears throat> giant blanket to these trees or something. <laughs> and this it, was like, it was like <clears throat> it was it was doused in like gas or something and they launched 
from two different points. So it was like a blanket. Yeah. It was like yeah, a, yeah. covering this whole yeah. army. Because it's like the, the trebuchets <clears throat> that they're launching yeah. shit out yeah. of. And, and yeah. as it started to like land, it landed on all these people and they were like stuck under it and they're like, oh, and they like start ripping out of it. And then they're like, it's wet. And they're like, oh, it's gas. And then like all these like flame arrows come flying down and like land. And on every this. dude brain is like, this is strategic master. I was like, it's pretty that awesome. <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh, wow, that's <laughs> wild. But like, that's a pretty cool take. Like, because yeah. that was the same <clears throat> one that afterward they did like Barrel of Monkeys. Like they they shot uh-huh. like eight dudes and like they a fucking were all formation. connected together. Like, yeah, yeah. They all- <laughs> <laughs> and they landed and like punched all kinds of dudes. How as soon as they awesome landed. would this be if we were the stars? Yeah. Well, see, that's the fucking problem. I can't tell you how many times I get tagged in Bollywood shit. Oh, wow. Because every fucking slightly brown guy with a beard <laughs> and long hair, they're like, this is Brunan Herrera. I'm like, half of them are fucking fat. And I'm like, oh, dude, come on, man. Like, that's, <laughs> God, God damn you it. You do have some really good memes about you. It's it becoming a thing, or it's been a thing, I guess. <laughs> but like, there's so many, like, any, any, or especially like that one guy that would do like the, uh, the like, what do you call that, clog dancing? Oh, yeah. That oh, guy, yeah. You know, the TikTok yeah, guy yeah. or whatever? He seems like the happiest fucking guy ever. Dude, yeah. But I wanted to get him on the channel at one point. Oh, shit. I, st- I still do. That would have been funny. Because so many, every time he goes viral again, like people tag me, like, bro, is this you? I'm like, <laughs> oh, God. No, yeah. no like I'm so excited for that guy that I told you that we're having out on the 13th. He is so funny. Oh, yeah. Have you ever seen any of his stuff? I don't think so. He is freaking hilarious. I'll show D- Dylan Johnson. Like, sounds familiar. He does these, he does these like stop motion, um, like things where he, like he uses pictures of himself to like, like do all this crazy shit. It's really fucking funny. Hmm. So where I originally thought you were going on that Bollywood thing. Yeah. Is where you were saying that, uh, you know, now that with the actor strike and everything, uh, is that we can actually start emailing people. Maybe I haven't seen him. Dylan Johnson. Or, or I thought you were gonna. We were gonna start emailing people, you know, or, or, or DMing people, you know, the spam mail kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, we're like, hello, I am famous actor so and so. Like, <laughs> blah blah blah. Please give me four hundred thousand US, and I will reward you with much gold and three times your investment. We and then we that. just actually start getting Hollywood actors to record cameos for us to DM to these people. That'd be cool. There has to be like, like I really want to start like. I need to I need to spend more time on Fiverr because I just want to start doing fake news broadcasts about all of you. <laughs> like oh accusing God. you of weird shit. Oh no. <laughs> Jesus. Caleb Francis overuses spoop. <laughs> <laughs> See my assholes on the ground. <laughs> it created a suction. I just pulled it out. <laughs> your your hand is naked. <laughs> oh God. Colonoscopist says he's never seen any injury like this in his life. <laughs> yeah. It's just in my ass and then I open my hand. Up. <laughs> it's just like sticking everywhere. Oh, God. Uh, uh, we talked about starting a new apparel company just called Piss. Yeah. <laughs> Is that I mean, an that was, acronym? Yeah. That was a real cut. Co- no, no, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> It's called piss. Is it's it an acronym? Piss. No. No. <laughs> no, dude. Who huh? wouldn't want it? We're just, oh, dude, I got the new piss. That, yeah, you know, like, Supreme blew up. Yeah, trying to make it like fucking Supreme yeah, and all the other guys. Just piss. Piss. We just same sell font, stu- same Yeah, yeah. Piss. We just sell stupid shit. <laughs> but it's so expensive. I mean, it's also like. Are you wearing piss? Oh, are you wearing, oh, dude, that are you wearing that, piss? Got that new and piss? Then, it would piss girls off to no end. Like girlfriends yeah. and wives and fiancés. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, why do you. Why are you so obsessed with this? You know, because anytime we get obsessed with something, they get really angry. You got yeah. your piss jeans. Like, you oh, spent six hundred dollars on piss pe- jeans. Are you telling me you're not wearing the piss drip? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah piss yeah. drip. The latest yeah, yeah. piss drip. <laughs> What's in your mouth? You're your piss mouthpiece. What? Why? Uh-huh. <laughs> Jesus. It just says piss. <laughs> what? A piss mouth guard. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, that'd be nice. See, yeah. <laughs> he started expanding to like you know appliances and you know home home decor. Oh, what? this is my piss shower. Yeah, the piss toaster. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we piss have toaster. a whole <laughs> toasted piss. Don't mind, don't mind me. I just got my piss fridge. What? Yeah, and then we have a whole series of art. Oh <laughs> man, this is I call frozen piss. It's like Acme except retarded. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, we sell everything. It's yeah. just piss. We sell everything. 
I mean, this brand has legs. Yeah. You can do anything. And then Dan, Dan wants to be involved. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. like, yeah, I mean, actually it was his idea. Yeah. He said, we need to start a company called piss. Yeah. I didn't invest. Wow. Dude, this is like That's we're it. on shark tank. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we need to bring this to the investors. This is the next Supreme. Piss. Piss. And then we have like, <laughs> we have like Victoria Silstead, Playmate of the Year, like voice over the commercial. It's like everything you ever wanted. Piss. Mm. <laughs> now you don't even need her, dude. I, I just heard that voice acting. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah, everything you, man. Should we just make a couple black and white commercials about piss? Probably. Yeah, I don't right. know why we wouldn't save a lot of money that way. Yeah, I wish we were wearing Let's Go Brandon shirts right now. I was I forgot to text you this morning. I can I can get those to you. Well, that, that we wanted to have. Yeah, that'd be nice. nice. Yeah, I'm not sure that I could, you know, necessarily condone. The behavior or conversation of this. You don't. You shouldn't. <laughs> I shouldn't. You're right, here yeah. to 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 chastise us. So yeah. start chastising. No, it's more of a test. Like, can you sit in a room full of just absolutely ridiculous people and maintain your sanity? Yeah. Well, I'm running for that job. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. This is a test. This is the test drive. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, I, I will take this kind of insanity over that kind of insanity yeah. any day. Yeah. You guys I actually true. fucking like. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it makes a big if difference. If you do get elected, can I ask one favor? We're already to that point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can get AOC a piss shirt? <laughs> Depending on where I have to sit, I could probably throw one at her. <laughs> <laughs> She'll probably call it assault and ask yeah. why I'm trying to you date got a her. T-shirt kid. I can't like, oh, blast her with it. No, 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 no. You have to schmooze her into wanting to wear it. You're like, hey, this is the new next thing. Like. It's 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 one hundred percent. So I can't just blast her with piss. <laughs> you could. I mean, you could. That's a different yeah. kind of relationship. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's like at least a fourth date. Kind yeah. Of thing. yeah. Before you start blasting anybody with piss, dude, <laughs> you gotta work up to that. You gotta, yeah, yeah. You gotta get permission, written yeah. permission now. Yeah, especially yeah. 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 You need signed documents on yeah, your phone. That's one of the yeah. main rules in Texas: is governors need written permission to piss on people. <laughs> <laughs> It's one of the, That's one of the main rules of Texas. Of Texas yeah. Luckily, our governor, when I don't think, I don't think our governor like can piss on anybody ago. without their permission anyway. Uh -huh. Yeah, that is yeah, true. true. It's kind of a little true. low. Yeah. A little low center of gravity. He's going to have to have a good arc. Yeah. yeah. A good roll and start. He's going to have to squeeze hard. <laughs> <laughs> just like a fire, like yeah, just like gonna, a, a water hose when you're a yeah, kid. Just yeah, you got to gotta, get it up there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm going to hell, man. <laughs> but you're going to Congress first. Yeah, well, tomato, tomato. Hey, yeah, hey, 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 hey. yeah, that is. That is. I don't know which one's worse. <laughs> we need to get you a swamp jacket. Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe Piss can make one. Damn, oh, Piss man. swamp? How'd you get Damn. that fucking sweet-ass swamp jacket? Oh, it's Piss. It's Piss. It's piss. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sorry, he, it's Piss. It's like the, he went to Jared, he went to Piss. He went to Piss. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's literally he went let's to Jared. Just, <laughs> let's yeah. just buy a billboard in Birdie that says, coming soon, Piss. <laughs> <laughs> They already fucking hate us here. <laughs> it's funny to hear like some of the like offhand conversation of the people in Bernie who just I'm absolutely sure. fucking hate. Oh yeah, because group. I'm always fucking with him inside the Bernie Informed Citizens Group. <laughs> oh always. really? Oh god. Oh, yeah. Let me guess on Facebook. Yep. Oh yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it's kind of funny because you know I, at, at a, on one hand I feel bad for them because this really has grown up from like a, a ten thousand population town to like thirty thousand and. Five years as San Antonio continues to expand into it. And, you know, they're losing the small town that they grew up in. On the other hand, half of them are Karens and I don't fucking like them. Yeah. So, like, there's that. Yeah, but we yeah. want the small town too. We're not over here like, hey, no, let's no. make Bernie bigger. No, no, yeah. No, we like this. This is my walk. like how it yeah. is. Yeah. I love the small town. I just wish it had more piss. Yeah. 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 I mean, if we had an outlet, That's maybe. True. Maybe Cody oh. will let us have just a little corner of the skate shop that can we just become our little outlet. boutique. Yeah. The piss outlet. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we well, because God knows Bernie needs another fucking boutique. Oh, my God. Is have, you ever, like, have you went into many of them? Yeah, they're all the same fucking it's, Amazon shit. It's literally the goofiest shit in each one of them. I've never been them, in dude. a single one. I've been into like most of them now. And it is. Why are you being Why do you think, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Well, why? Because Lux forces you to? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like, yeah. We got to go to the boutique. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you know, the you know that she always wants to go to? The <laughs> Bouchons. Yeah, Bouchons. Yeah, That's her laser thing. always goes, you go to Bouchons. Yeah, that Jesus. one's r ridiculous as well. Fucking tiny figurine of like a, a D 
deer or a zebra and it's like a thousand dollars. Oh, I know which one you're talking about. It's the goofiest Ooh. stuff. Who does that? I mean, are you just well, old at some point? You just buy shit because could, you have nothing to do? You know our theory about all the boutiques in Bernie, right? No. Uh, yeah. Just drugs. No, no, no. It's not drugs. They're not nearly that cool. <laughs> it's a bunch of the actual people who've succeeded in life, like the 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 men of Bernie. Yeah who are trying to fuck uh, the cart girls on their golf course, so they want their wives to be busy. So they just give their wife a boutique to run as a side business. Oh, so they're busy all day. Oh, yeah, exactly. Man, Dude, it's that's... honestly brilliant. But that makes sense. That does make sense, because these boutiques, like, they're, yeah, I mean, that's, like, they're to, bad. To, they to don't have, cash flow. To have that store is, ex- is expensive, right there on, fuck. just having and that is like, expensive. But they're like, I've got a $2 million pool. I need a cart girl. Here. And yes, they, I need her to be, though. Fuck out. There's no way, like you can go into a lot of these boutiques, there's no way that they're making enough no. so for, it, clear probably for, for it to make like sense. $5,000 a month just to have that store. Just to have it. Not with the employees, not with the electricity, mm-hmm. not with the I inventory. Mean, that's, even, that's even on a low side because yeah. look at El Catador. Dude, like, yeah. That lasted What was it, 30 months. grand a month or no, something? Like 17000 a month in rent. It's yeah. so we, oh, that's on the low end. We thought yeah. it was going to be like twenty. Yeah, yeah, we wanted to buy that place for uh, mm-hmm. for uh, Man Moses. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we were we were looking into it, and somebody fucking sniped it from us. We'll mm-hmm. probably throw an oily rag in the window. Those jerks. <laughs> they're they're gonna do something stupid too. That's, yeah. like, that's so expensive. Like yeah. that even that's that doesn't even seem reasonable. Like yeah. that. To make enough for that a month, yeah, like is that even a good I'm, business plan? I'm gonna take that building and I'm gonna open up a hubcap yeah. shop. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> just to be an asshole. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just, oh, I just sell hubcaps, used what? and new. <laughs> Who the fuck needs hubcaps? <laughs> Speaking of hubcaps, holy shit! Like fucking 1604 is getting dangerous. I had a fucking I've had a fucking hubcap fly at my car today. Oh shit! That scares me. Yeah, literally, because as I was leaving brunch with Cody, we just had a fucking hubcap fly up in the middle of the fucking road, and I had to hit the brakes. The thought of losing you terrifies my soul. You would be alone in that. Yeah. I think most Texans are, would agree with with Jared. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's been, oh, well, okay. I, like, I'm okay with dying. I'm not okay with dying to a fucking hubcap. Yeah, Fuck something that. Like, lame, that is dude. true. Yeah. Shit, I've blown up all the shit we've done. Like, and I, I get killed by like slipping on an ice cube I'm, or some I, shit. I, I am afraid one of us is going to get shot because we generally have a lot of people around us that don't know really how to use weapons. And I'm going, oh, yeah. Yeah. A lot of the uh, the influencers. 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 I'm an influencer. It's French radio time. Um, Recently, I saw someone say, oh, I do social media. Okay. I do social media. I do so social does everybody. Yeah, that's kind of like a- You have a Facebook page? Yeah, what's up? You, you got Facebook? What's up? Yeah. What, are you like, talk, what are you saying? Yeah. Yeah. That is a fun- That is. Although, a, I do hate the influencer moniker. Yeah. It, it, sure. It's so, yeah. Sh- it's so shitty. But I feel bad hating on it because, I, yeah, I did- it's, yeah, it's what got you to where you are. Yes. Yeah, that's like that's it's, how I feel too. Because people like there's still plenty of people who are like, oh, you're you know you're a TikToker, and I'm just like, mm, sure, yeah, yeah. Like that's how like it led to things. But at least that's still kind of what you do, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Like, people call me a YouTuber or whatever. It's like, yeah, like, well, I mean, technically sure, true. Yeah, yeah. I would like to consider us, you know, like. I like I I hate to hide under this one because this is becoming the same thing influencer was, but like content creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? It's like yeah, content creator in general, yeah. But that also comes with like, you know, small business owner, mm-hmm. successful entrepreneur. Yeah, like you do everything. Yeah. But yeah. It, it, it's funny because I just watched your video this morning when you met uh the presidential candidate. Oh yeah, uh, and you Vivek. Were, yeah. You were I was explaining wondering. he was like, You have a podcast? You're like, oh, I don't have a podcast, I'm a YouTuber. But it's like you do have a show. Yeah, you have a because sh- you, you have a format that you stick to, and it's right. the same the same time, the same schedule every week. It's the same thing. Like it's no different than what the fuck was on nef- network television. Honestly, more people see it. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. network television wasn't seen by like even a fraction of some of the numbers that's put up on on online. Like yeah, because I mean, at the end of the day, we're rocking like right now on YouTube like fifteen million a month. I yeah. Think. yeah, see, that's not yeah home and price week. Home improvement was seen, you know, like by a few hundred thousand, maybe. I don't know. Maybe that fact is real. 
Maybe it's not. <laughs> but I mean, it's Dave, good for you. Can you tell us how many people saw Home Improvement each episode? Yeah, what was the really average quick? Home Improvement I feel like that was like, that was a pretty popular show. Yeah, but it still probably was only in the low millions, like one or three. Uh, it was averaging 36.3 million viewers a week. Oh, well, wow. fuck it me. Was, it was popular. Uh, wow. Home Improvement was very it was popular. popular. Yeah. I rem- right. Dude, I, I can remember that. It was huge. Let's go with a less popular <laughs> show. <laughs> um, well, that was before what was internet on like, TNT. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Wings. How many people watched Wings? Well, that was probably worse. Oh, shit. Worse. I feel like that's probably even more. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, I don't know, man. Let's think of the shows that weren't popular, the ones we're not thinking about. Yeah. <laughs> Blossom. <laughs> I don't know that one, 2005. Yeah. WNBA. Let's compare them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Hey, Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> hey, they're willing to trade the Lord of War for one of them. So, like, I feel like that's a pretty good benchmark. Yeah, pretty wild. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was talking to uh, the manager who handles my ad deals uh, about the the new Lord of War movie they're making because they're doing a Lord of War two with with, with Nicolas Cage. <gasps> I said, oh. I, don't, I don't give a fuck. I, will, I, I don't want to be paid. I don't want fucking anything. I will give my left testicle to be in that fucking movie, even in just a cameo role. You like should be is, giving him guns. Yeah. yeah. AK. Handing Obviously. him a fucking or AK AR. or anything. No, it'd be or, way funnier for you. Yeah. <laughs> he calls you specialist. AR guy. Hey. <laughs> You know, AR dude. <laughs> I'd fucking take it. I'd fucking be, that would take just be it. funny as shit. Yeah, it, would. it would be the greatest little Easter egg it, ever. It might be my 13th reason, but I'd take it. <laughs> AR dude. AR dude. Hey, is that AR dude running for the congressional seat? Yeah, but I mean, yeah, you come in with a fucking just whole like palette of AKs. Like, that'd be awesome. Yes, I have acquired this for you. What do yeah. you mean? Yeah, oh. yeah like, like a whole dump truck. Yeah. Like something silly. You just dump them. <laughs> Yeah. And the funny part is I can uh, BYOAK. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd be great. I've always wanted to write like a Christmas card on a jet ski and send it to somebody. Like just sitting in the jet ski? Yeah. No. <laughs> like it's like, did you get my Christmas card? Like, oh, this fucking jet ski. No, like, there's a oh, jet it's ski written on it. It's there. Just it's carve it. it. Carve it on the side of the fiberglass. <laughs> you cut a hole at it. It's, well, it doesn't even work now. <laughs> the six uh, yeah, you got to get it past. It was brand new, but you know, I hit it I hit it with one of those uh, circular saws. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> like, why? You can send that as a Christmas card. <laughs> How did you do this? I do that to my brother. <laughs> God. <laughs> hey, did you get my jet ski present? He's like, this fucking thing's destroyed. I'm like, yeah, it's like yeah. three grand to fix this. <laughs> Why did you do this? It's like, yeah. like I, I really got, want I it, got but carried away. Like I was like, I was like gonna take off a little on the top, and then it just I blacked out. <laughs> it's gonna take two years to fix this. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is literally like it's <laughs> it's, it's it's totaled. <laughs> yeah. I have to title and insure your fucking Christmas present. Yeah. Piece of shit. <laughs> this just cost me 10 it's grand. Like the Mr. Beast gifts yeah. where it's like, huh. bro, I'm a greeter at Walmart. I can't afford the taxes on a Lamborghini. Well, yo, <laughs> they lose it. You and I for Christmas this year got everybody like 80 ton boulders. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> just delivered to their front Dude, door. Only, as long as you pay the shipping. I would but only love. friends that live in apartments. <laughs> oh, God. I would love if someone got me a boulder for a, a gift, dude. Just to have and play on. Dude, like growing up, uh, our like cabin that my family used to go to, it had like this gigantic rock in the front yard. And it was so big that like you could scale the back of it. And there was a tree that was growing up at the top. It was awesome. I'll just re- relive my childhood. If I would love to that. see you, uh, you know, basically playing out the Greek mythology of like constantly pushing <laughs> yeah, the boulder up the hill. Just, what was that guy's name? I can't uh, Aristocrat. Mm-hmm. Aristocats. Mm-hmm. That's it. I don't believe that. No, was no, yeah, yeah it's Aristocats. No, I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, it was Dave Aristocrat, 1975. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Listen, I'm, I'm not a yeah. mythology buff, but I, I, I highly <laughs> doubt you're, uh, you're on the mark on that one. Uh, uh, I mean, it's close. It's Sisyphean. It's what? Sisyphean? Sisyphean. Hmm, okay. Yeah, it was that's the guy famous. that's constantly like pronounced uh, it a little boulder. different. Pushing uh, the boulder up the hill. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So like yeah. everybody goes to Atlas, but I know yeah, it's like he's the, the one holding, holding the world up. Indianapolis Jones. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry, it's Sisyphus. 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 Yeah, there it All is. Right. Yeah, that yeah. sounds right. Hmm, that's fun. Well, well we learned something today. Yeah, I think that's. We we'll just learned a little bit of Greek uh, mythology. And we've learned a lot about you. Yeah, a lot of shit that's going to be used against me in the future. That's why nah, I think this would be tough. You know, because they would, they might try, and then everybody would be kind of like, and we already saw that. 
Yeah, that's kind of the fun part is that uh, not only have I always had like my worst tendencies all over the internet from the beginning of time, uh, so it's kind of hard to use that against me, but also every bit they try, they're also giving me ad revenue in the mm-hmm. process. So it's like, well, thank you for keeping the lights on. But, but also too, I think if you look at it from the aspect of like someone that's going to try and use anything that's already published against you, they're serving it to somebody that generally has already seen it probably. So again, they're going to, the, the <laughs> audience, they're going to be like, oh, this is going to get him. And then I'm like, ah, oh, that's old, dude. And well, if it's I'm just going to be, be the opposite reaction. It's like, oh, look what we found out about Brandon. It's like, that's actually the reason we like him. That's actually, hilarious. Yeah. That's really like, cool. If, if, I'm, if I'm trying to be edgy, I at least try to be funny at the same time so that if it's ever served up to anybody, you know, after the fact, yeah. they're like, all right, well, like, I kind of like the guy. And actually, that's pretty good. <laughs> I, I, hopefully, that's the vibe. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Well, I mean, it's also, uh, it's not like you're out doing anything to, like, actually cause anybody any harm or, or Anything like that. So it's like, yeah, it's and 2023 it's and they're, they're, you know, rabid microaggressions. So microaggressions. Yeah. What do you that mean microaggressions? Like that sounds like an AOC <laughs> word. I prefer macroaggressions. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, with my fists. Yeah. I'll just Man. hit a guy. Man, ooh, I long for the day where, like, you could just fight people. You can. Like just in Texas. You can in Texas. Texas is one of two states that has, I think, mutual free and clear combat. mutual combat. Yep. Oh, you guys have to like agree. Yeah. It's like you guys are like, you agree? We're gonna do, you got to fucking agree. We're going to do battle on. now. You can't just go to fucking H-E-B and start hitting people. No, no, no. <laughs> Obviously, you're not going to do that. But I mean, like, you can't just like, you know, have a disagreement or something and then just start fighting. Like, you're just like, all right, no, it's battle time. And they're like, I agree. And then you're like, I agree. And then you go to battle, right? That's like, yeah. it's pretty much like that. Is there That's, like code words? I don't think so. I think you just uh, challenge them to battle and you both say, I just keep picturing like Caleb and HEB like throwing up Uncle Ben's rice and then punching someone in the face. (laughs) (laughs) God, that's a great visual. I have the box. Look at me. I'm Uncle Ben. I'm Uncle Ben. And they blow through like a whole aisle. Like, oh, this would be great. Diversion. (laughs) I can't wait till AI is good enough that we could just tell it to make Make whatever we want and it just makes it. I, I just kind of wish that sword fights were still more popular, man. <laughs> well, the problem with sword fights is people kept getting stabbed. But I mean, like, that's what the outcome that I want. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want, like, people, I, I wish we could go to that, like, you know, uh, you can open carry. I mean, I think, Dude, I know you can just open carry swords sword? and stuff. Oh. But, can you open carry swords in Texas? I'm pretty sure. I wouldn't be surprised. Can you, can you, I, I think you can, but it still falls under being weird as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, they're gonna be like, "What a fucking weeb." Okay, so <laughs> get this though, just a katana and yeah. a fucking like, <laughs> all right, last samurai, chill the fuck out. You know, you know, like, okay, so there's been so many freaking battles over the years, medievally, with swords, like, and you know that like pretty much every combination has happened before. And imagine this, like, like we're best friends and we're finally going into battle mm-hmm. and. Like I'm my size, you're your your size, you got this giant axe. Yeah. And as soon as we get to the line, I backswing right into your face. Yeah, you just accidentally you kill up. your friend. No, like, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. And you're oh, like right like, 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 <laughs> Wasn't that a thing with Matt at some point? They, didn't you guys do a skit like that? It was it was Logan. It was Sir Logan. Yeah, right? Sir Logan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. We did. talked about that the other day where he just whoop, swings yeah, back. How and, much would that suck? And then the, you're like, I forget what movie that no, happened. Yeah. But my oh fuck my oh, And then you're just like and then the someone mace. stabs you in the head. <laughs> yeah, and then that was Aww. your battle. You guys have been training for years to become yeah. warriors, and you you'd done all these like you know epic trainings together, and you like worked for so long, and then you get in a battle and you trip and kill yourself. Or imagine there was probably a battle where like it was very equal, like almost everybody died. Like in like there was like a couple people got away and they yeah. just fled. Yeah, and then you're just like be bopping along, along, and you just come across this field of like. 6,000 dead people with armor and swords and shit. You're like, what the? F-? You're like, oh man, I'm going to take some of this oh, gold. Shit, this oh, is this guy's cool. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start taking swords. Like each one of those, like, man, this is what I make in a year. Whoa. This is a really ma- oh, well made sword. sword. Yeah, dude, I'd be stealing so much armor. Yeah. Hell you, yeah. You could carry it all. Yeah. You'd Just be like, one. fuck, I only got one horse. Yeah. And you got like eight. Thousand pounds of armor and swords on the back of it. It's back so legs. the average Skyrim it's experience <laughs> walking on its shins because <laughs> <laughs> its legs have broken forward. 
It's just sweating. <laughs> sweating out of its eyes. <laughs> blood coming out of its nose. All right, we're done here. <laughs> Stupid Come fucking Come on, Buttercup. It's like, ah! <laughs> God damn it. Here we are back with the fucking horses. Horses, yeah, every time. Uh, man, okay, so like every man has this thought where they're like, you know, in a store or, you know, a bank or something like that. And you're just like, man, imagine, imagine this place started getting shot up mm-hmm. and I was the hero that day. Like, right? Like, everyone's always like, all right. And plus, we all carry guns. Every sure, day, yeah. So and like, so you're always like, mm, I just wish somebody would try and shoot somebody in here. Like, you, like that's a, that's a, a normal dude thought. Like, it happens. Imagine we were in the time where you just, or if now, and then we just had swords. And you just, everyone has swords on. And you're just like, I wish someone would try to stab somebody in here right now. Parry this casual. Yeah. <laughs> and and then you're just, but you're like, like everyone's fucking good at sword fighting. Like that's like, you know, a lot of people practice gun. You would be welding a hammer. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine I just had a hammer with a spike on the backside of it, but it was like a long hammer. It was like big flat face <laughs> on the front on and, then a, a, right? and then a fucking like spike on the back of it. And that's what I carried. Like everyone has their own weapon that they carry. Yeah. Some people carry the nunchucks with the blades on the end. Like some people just oh, have goofy shit. That's like a David and Goliath moment. I see you pull out the fucking hammer sword <laughs> and I'm just like, bro, I don't think I want this smoke. Like, <laughs> I'm just going to go back to like fucking starving on a farm somewhere. Right, like, which side? Yeah. Which side am I on? Yeah. I'm on your side. Sure. But if you did have like, a, yeah, like what are you going to do? If you have a sword, like a, especially if you have a guitar and then someone swings like a fucking eight hammer. foot long hammer <laughs> as hard as they can, like their whole body's not, into it. What are you going to do? Well, you're not going to, it's going to break, gonna break it's going to just break your arms into your face. We're talking about like, this is 1352. Yeah. Nobody's got the protein intake to be able to swing a hammer. <laughs> like, <laughs> these people are like yeah. five foot yeah. two, 120 pounds. Taking a hammer to the chest. Dude, yeah. It just like crushes strange. everything into your heart. Like yeah. oh. I just all, your, your diaphragm just becomes blades into all your like guts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'd be awesome. This was brutal. Yeah. This was way brutal. And that would just be your everyday life. Just well, walking around. That's every day. <laughs> that's every, every day for you. I'm for it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> for to say. Yeah. I mean, that's, I'm just that's I'm just when saying, men were men. Yeah. I'm just saying if something did happen and all the guns somehow became gone and we had to revert back to weapons. I we, wasted we, my life. That we build ourselves or something. <laughs> like that'd be cool. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be too upset. We're gonna need that. a river. Yeah. So we could forge. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It'd be great. Yeah. It'd be like compounding like funny smelling rocks on the mountain trying yeah. to make sulfur and gunpowder yeah, and just, shit. Like <laughs> building our own guns. Yeah. yeah, we just restart. We got muskets and stuff. We're going to do a lot of training. <laughs> God. Oh, this was good. Yeah. This was very good. Yeah. This is a fun time. <laughs> uh, Brandon. A good, good group of boys we got here. <laughs> yeah. Is there, uh, is there anywhere anyone can donate to do anything campaign? to help you? In your in your calls, nobody these can days, help me. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm helpless. Oh, okay. El luchadore. Uh, El helpy. But in real life, in real life, yeah. Uh, also, still helpless. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, I, I appreciate it. Yeah. We're, uh, yeah, we've got Brandon for, Brandon Herrera for Congress.com. Perfect. So that's uh, that's where we're kind of trying to push people to push people to and kind of really just scare the uh, the incumbent Republican we got right now, Tony awesome. Gonzalez. So that's uh, that's been kind of the focus. Well, we're Expert spookies. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I hear is uh, black rifle coffee is full of spooks. That's what I hear. <laughs> that's what they say. Yeah. That's not all the time. I hear. Spookies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> gotcha. Hell yeah. Well, awesome. I'm going to start glowing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had to explain to Evan for the second time the other day what a glowy was. It's and always was, funny. It's, it's never any less funny. It's fantastic. Well, thank you. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. thank you guys for having me, man. Yeah. It's always Thanks a, for coming. It's a pleasure. Heck yeah. And awesome. thank you to you guys for tolerating us for oh, however yeah. long.